All right, so as you can see here, I have the T6e plugged in and it is charging. And when that light goes out, that is when it is fully charged. All right, guys, I just wanted to give you a quick crash course into how to use your T6 electronics here so you can get out there and start riding as soon as possible. There, here's the controller right here and you have a power button on the top left. You have a button on the bottom left here that I'm not using. This is for a light that I don't have on the bike. So I guess some bikes come with lights and stuff and that's what this button's for. You then have an up button, a down button, and then you have like a menu button here. Uh, and that's pretty much how this system works. And then over here is the display. So that's the display that will turn on once we turn the power on. So again, let me go back to this button over here. Now I'm just gonna hold the power button down and it'll turn on. So guys, if you want to walk with the bike, like if you wanna push the bike and walk with it, you just hold this button down here with your thumb as you're walking the bike and you see how it lit blue there? And you could see on the screen over here, it says walk. So this is like the walk assist feature, which is great if you have to get off the bike on a really steep spot. All right, so now if I hit the up button here, it's gonna change to off. So this is the default state, and now it says off over there. If you hit the up button again, it'll go into eco mode. And you could notice this little blue bar kind of shows you how much power it's gonna use. Now if you hit up again, it's gonna go into trail mode. So you can see it turned green and the bar went further. And then boost mode here, it's just full power, maximum assist, and that's how boost mode works. Now, if you hit this button here, it'll bring you into the menu, and it'll basically show you different stats and stuff like that if you just tap it. And so if you just tap it again, it'll cycle through more stuff. So you can see I got miles per hour, distance, odometer, and then you have time here. So here's all your different times for you know averages, things like that. And then here we're back to the main. Now, if you, let me just put this back into eco mode here by hitting the bottom button. Now, if you hold this button down, it'll go in here to the menu. And now here's where you can go and clear your settings if you want. You can set your clock, which is very easy. I did that already. These are your different light options. Brightness, you can change the brightness of the screen. Units, this is where you can change from miles per hour to kilometers, for example. Language, you can change your language in there. Now assist profile, if you go in there, you can change that to profile two. So I'm just gonna do that to show you how that works. All right, so I'm just gonna go down to exit and hit exit, like so. And now you can see my eco options here. It says one through seven. Let me zoom in a little closer for you. So now guys, if I go up and down, you can see how it's changing from two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So, it, and that's full boost mode. So this option just gives you, you know, seven different settings as opposed to the three settings. And that's the difference between profile one and profile two. And don't forget, if you wanna shut it off, you can just hold this power button down and it will shut everything down for you. All right, let's get out there. Let's start riding.